are going to draw and color a simple candy cane to remind us of the story of the candy cane that we got to hear. So uh, this is the, the art piece and what will be great about this art piece is you get to get creative at the very end so yours is going to look different than mine. So it'll be easy peasy. We're going to need a light pencil so your hb pencil or your number two pencil and what i'm going to have you do first is we remember our lines we're going to start with a curvy line at the top of our paper we see that curvy line and then we're going to draw a diagonal line from that curvy line, okay? So it's just a diagonal line all the way down. We're drawing the outline of our candy cane. Okay, so there's our diagonal line. And then we're going to connect another line here and go around, draw another curvy line, and go all the way down here we're drawing another diagonal line and then close your candy cane right here okay and then what i'd like you to do is take an eraser and i want you to erase the center of the candy cane stick what we're going to do is we're going to draw a bow right in the center of your candy cane okay so what I want you to start off with is you're going to draw the side of the bow and guess what? We're going to use our shapes, what we know about our shapes. So if you turn this around, I want you to tell me what kind of shape you see here. You see a heart, right? A heart. So I want you to go ahead and draw what it looks like is a sideways heart. Okay? And once you're finished with one sideways heart, you're going to draw another sideways heart. I'm just turning it sideways to make it easier. Okay? So you've got two hearts that are sideways. Then I want you to draw a round, what looks like a round square right here in the center of your bow, okay? And then from there, what I'd like for you to do is draw a long curvy line outward. And then I want you to do the same thing on the other side. You'll draw a long curvy line outward, okay? And then you're going to draw another long curvy line outward right next to there, right next to this one. And then another long curvy line outward right next to the other one. And now you're going to draw what looks like an upside down letter V. And then the same thing over here, you're going to draw an upside down letter V, okay? Now you've got a bow there. And then this part is optional for you. So you don't have to draw this part, but if you want to, you can. What I'm going to show you how to do is draw little leaves. They're called holly leaves right next to the bow, right around the bow. Okay, so you're going to draw, it's going to look like, do you remember our wavy lines? You're gonna draw three wavy lines and then one that points up, okay? And then you're going to do the same on the other side. Wavy, wavy, and then there we go. That's one. And then we're going to draw another one. So we're going to draw, we're gonna go one, two, three, and up, one, two, three, and here. 
Okay, that's another one. And then why don't we draw one more right here in the middle? One, two, three. This is optional, so don't worry about it if you don't want to put it in your piece, okay? Then that one will connect, okay? And then I want you to draw, if you have a line there, you can go ahead and erase that line. You're gonna draw a curvy line right here in the middle by the leaves. Those of you who really like to make these, you can draw them around, okay? You don't have to, but if you want to, you can if you like doing this. Okay, all right. And now you can, if you want to draw little circles around here near the leaves, you can. These are going to be our berries. Okay, you don't have to, but you can. Okay, you can draw as many or as little as you'd like. All right, now if you take a look at the candy cane, we've got stripes in the candy cane. And if you look at the stripes, all we're using to make the stripes are curvy lines. So I want you to draw one curvy line up here for the first part of the stripe and then another curvy line up here. That's one stripe. And we're going to do the same, we're going to draw the same lines here. One curvy line up, another curvy line up. And then we're going to repeat this pattern of lines all the way throughout your candy cane. So we'll draw one, another one, and another one. And do you see how I'm going I'm kind of making them curvy, right? And they're almost um, going in a diagonal direction. Okay? Right here, you won't see that one that much. Okay, another one here. And another one here. So it's like a diagonal curvy line. Diagonal curvy lines. Another one here. And another one here. Okay, those are your stripes. And then for your background, you get to get creative, okay? What I did in this one is I added little circles all around to make it look like it's snowing in the background. You can get creative though. You could draw little hearts or you can, you don't have to draw anything. You could just color it your own color, okay? once we're finished with that design part of your background, I want you to take your color pencil and I want you to begin to color, okay? Now, what I'm going to ask you to do is I want you to color in one direction the entire time throughout your entire background. A lot of us, we like to scribble, and I don't want you to do that anymore. I want you to color in one direction, okay? So, if we're going to color this way, we're going to color that way throughout the entire art piece, okay? I know it takes a little bit longer, but it's going to look so much better like this, okay? And if your hand gets tired, remember, take a look at your, your finger and, and ask, or your hands, take a look at your hand and how you're holding your pencil and ask yourself, am I holding my pencil correctly? If I'm not, then that's probably why my hand is hurting. Okay? I want you to go ahead and color in one direction all throughout your background, your entire background. I'm going to color in one direction, back and forth, back 
back and forth. Back and forth. And then we'll continue to color in one direction. Remember, if you want to color in a, like horizontally the whole time, that's okay. I just want you to color in one direction the whole time. So you'll color it all around here. Okay, I know it's tough to go one way for a long time, but you can practice, okay? And if you mess up, that's okay. You'll just continue to color in one direction the rest of the time, okay? All right, and you don't have to color yours blue. You could color yours another color if you'd like. Different than red because we're going to use red for our candy cane. Okay, so we're almost finished. Keep going. If you feel like giving up, just take a little break and then come back to it, okay? Don't rush. I don't want you to rush. So you'll color back and forth, back and forth. Okay, do you see how we just colored in one direction the whole time? So we're able to see uh, the lines they're going up and down, right, in the art piece. Now you are going to work on your candy cane. So what I want you to do is go ahead and take a red color pencil, and I want you to color the stripes. Do you notice how I'm coloring up and down in one direction? You could do that too. And then you color the next stripe. And then you can even move your paper around if you need to. Color the next stripe. And the next one. And remember, what do the stripes remind us of? Do you remember what the stripes remind us of? The stripes in the candy cane? They remind us of the blood of Jesus, right? Because the Bible says, by his stripes we are healed. By his stripes we are healed. And that he shed his blood on the cross for us, right? So that we might be come whole in Christ, in him. Okay? So you'll color them red. And then... We're getting to the end. Now, we don't need to color the white, right? The white is already white. So we're going to leave the white stripes as they are. Do you remember why the candy maker made the stripes red and white? What does white remind us of? White reminds us that when Jesus cleanses us with his blood from all of our sins, he washes away all of our sins. He doesn't remember the bad things that we've done before. And he makes us white as snow, pure as snow. And that's what's amazing is that his blood washes away all of our sins and we become new creations in him. Okay? Now, once we're finished with the candy cane, we're going to work on our bow. Guess what? You get to choose what color bow you'd like to color your bow. You can color it purple, you can color it uh, pink, you can color it uh, whatever color you'd like. If you colored your background blue, 
If you colored your background blue, I want you to color your bow a different color, okay? So that we can see your bow against the background. Now, I'm going to choose purple because it's different than my blue, right? So you could go ahead and color yours. I like to outline mine so that I see where I'm coloring. Okay. And I'm going to add two lines actually on inside of each heart. They're just curvy lines. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and start coloring. Color it this way. It takes longer not to scribble, but it's so much better. Okay, and then you'll color this way. center. All right. Now we're going to take our green and we're going to, if you did draw leaves, you can go ahead and color your leaves. Okay. If you did not, then you're going to move on to the next part. Okay. So you'll go ahead and Color them if you did. All right, and then a few more. If you didn't draw leaves, don't worry. draw little berries you can go ahead and color those in and those will be red you to use it to outline your candy cane. Very carefully, okay? Don't uh, ev try to not color over your stripes. You're just going to outline it like this, okay? All right, and now for the last part, I want you to go ahead and take out your glue stick. You are going to glue very carefully the back of your art piece. And you're going to glue it right here in the center of your red paper, not on the side not in the corner, right in the center. And what I want you to do is go ahead and write your name right here in the back. And if you can, your teacher's name too. Okay? All right. And then you can turn it in. Great job. And I can't wait to see your artwork. And I hope you have an amazing, blessed, Christmas. See you later.